How did COVID affect your business? When lockdown hit, um, our markets literally shut down overnight. So all the hospitality was shut down. Uh, we were lucky that the retail was still going, but there was a big gap. So it, we realized very quickly it became essential to get our online presence improved. So I literally pulled back out the notes from the course and had a look over the website and to see what improvements we had to make. Um, simple things like we were putting style photos to the front, whereas Google prefers white background photos. All things that were covered over, but because we liked the look of style photos, we weren't complying with what Google liked. So when we went back over the course notes, we realized the gaps that we had. A lot of them were easy fixed because we knew what the problems were. Um, and it just it meant that we could get the website actually running properly and start performing for us as a sideline to the business. It's since become a significant part of our business. Who helped you on your professional journey? Um, I would always go and do a couple of courses a year um, myself. I have some good managers in the past. Uh, that I would have learned a lot of tips and tricks from. Um, the online piece is, I suppose, new to us. We're, we're doing in a day now what we would have done for the entire year of 2019. So I have a couple of friends who have websites and we bounce ideas off each other. Um, like one of the big things that we learned is the very early on the importance of getting in a professional photographer. Um, people think it's easy to take a shot of a product with a white background but it comes very difficult to actually get a good quality one. So we use Claire Q now on a regular basis to come in and do both style and white background shots for us. Um, if we have a new product, we'll take a shot ourselves and put it up. And then when Claire comes, we just replace it with the better quality shot. What risks did you consider before moving online? I suppose the biggest fear for us is was when we started advertising more significantly online that if we got the adverts wrong that we'd be wasting money and during the COVID period people were very conscious of of conserving what money they had in the business um, so we had a better understanding of online marketing and having revised the course notes it gave us the confidence to actually look at it and we went more to a bid-based advertising so that we only pay per click. So if somebody clicks an ad, we pay then. Um, whereas if you do a scattergun brand awareness campaign, it's just putting your images out there for people to see your products. Um, and it's it's more, more controlled if you're doing a, a pay per click. Can you tell us about any pain points that you experienced during the process or key challenges that you faced? They, once once we started getting success from our online advertising and the overhaul of the website, we weren't set up for fulfilling orders at that level. So it became quite challenging at the start. There was thankfully lots of orders coming in and we just had to re, re set up how we did them, how we processed them, fulfilled them to ensure that we weren't making mistakes because we all shop online nowadays and there's nothing more frustrating than the wrong product coming or the wrong color coming. So we just slowed down. We put some more apps in the back of the website to help us with the fulfillment process to ensure that we were delivering a much better customer experience to the consumer that was thankfully coming to our site to buy off us. Did you have any reservations as you went through the process? Um, I suppose I'm a little bit older, so the younger people understand the internet better. Um, having sat the course, I knew while it was the right thing to do to follow the way Google wanted stuff rather than the way we wanted it. So back to what I mentioned about the style photographs versus the white ones, um, getting things more uniform on the site. So a certain picture might look better, portrait versus landscape, and that doesn't work. So again, having the understanding that you just have to comply with how the technology wants stuff to look um, and, and following it was was better. But I suppose the, the biggest battle we had in-house was to change our, our photos from style to, to white backgrounds. Um, but it's it's certainly paid dividends in the long run. And what are the benefits that you've seen? Um, we've had a phenomenal growth on our website since we implemented what we learned. And 
we're doing now in a day what we would have done for the year in 2019. Last year, we shipped from the website to 23 countries across the world. And it's really exciting when you come in in the morning and you see orders from America, Canada, Greece, Turkey, France, Portugal, um, people that don't know as far on online advertising. And to think that that you can get that reach by doing it properly is is just fantastic. There's, there's a sense of achievement, I suppose, that, that we're producing stuff in Cork and it's literally traveling across the world. Fantastic. And if you were to start the process again, Rob, what would would you do anything differently? Um, I suppose we'd we'd go about educating ourselves earlier on, um, get in that proper photographer early on. Our sh- our website sits on Shopify, so it's it's quite easy to manipulate and move it. There's different themes you can get. Um, Suzanne that looks after it here is thankfully detail focused, so getting the website up and running and, and just taking your time with it before you publish it and ensuring that it's it's out there properly, you've your options set up properly. I suppose the, 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 the big one that we did really when we made the changes was to readjust all the photographs. That was the, the, the probably the biggest learning to just accept that while a photograph might look pretty to us, it doesn't look pretty to a computer. So give the computer what it wants and get in that professional photographer from the early set and like Claire would come in to us every five or six weeks and just do a fresh lot of shots of new products and do some style shots for us as well. And that was probably the biggest one to get the proper photographer. Great. And finally, do you have any words of wisdom for someone who might be starting off on this journey? Um, go, go and do the course, get yourself educated on what you need because there's lots out there you can, you can be doing online advertising all day long and not hitting the the right audiences. Um, there's there's just ways that the internet works that normal mainstream face to face business doesn't. So go and get yourself educated on how that works before you take the plunge. Um, but absolutely, do get your stuff online and continue to engage with your customers on social media. It makes a big difference. Um, they feel that that you're engaging them. You have that personal touch that you'd get from a farmer's market or a, a high street shop by by talking back to them in chats, comments, replying to comments, and um, just have the courage to get out there and do it.